So you see, gentlemen, we have overlooked or chosen to ignore hard evidence. It may have been due to loss of minor technicalities or the power failures. It doesn't help that we got a country to run. Now then, gentlemen, what I propose that we do is this. Oh, for heaven's sake, this is a private meeting. Did you not see the sign? Get back! Get back, I tell you! Back! No! 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 Ah. Ah. Um. Oh, no! We're too late, Doctor. They're dead. Well, these two are, but... This chap's still alive, he's just unconscious. I don't know what happened. Don't know. Or whatever it was, it can't have been good. The two members of the committee dying under Cliffley, there's bound to be an inquiry. Wait a minute. This chap's coming round. Who is this man? Gaffney. Charles Gaffney. He's in charge of media. Media? We as you see, each member of the committee has their own responsibility. One took politics, one took economics, and the other took media. I wonder why Professor Burt would have been dead. Doctor, you're not suggesting that Professor Burt is mixed up in all this. Well, I don't see why he couldn't be. Doctor, I've been thinking, or well, me and Gillian have been thinking, that this Burt fellow, he obviously must have thought these three people were a threat to his machines. What better idea would it be, well, to get them out of the way and cause up a stir? Well, it's logical, but uh, I think we're going to be needing a little more understanding than that if we're going to find out what Burt's up to. Where am I? What's going on? It's all right, Mr. Gafty. Don't be scared. Whatever attacked you, it's gone now. It was horrifying. It came at us. It was... It was the giant reptile. Giant reptile? Don't let it get us. Don't let it get me. The man's delirious. No, I don't think he is. He's merely suffering from shock. I mean, don't forget, he's only believing what his mind told him to believe. You mean he really was attacked by some giant lizard thing? No, he's only believing what the fears in his mind had told him to be true. It's like the death of Ronson. He didn't really drown then. No, don't you see, Mr. Strutler, it all comes back to the same thing. We all believe what our minds tell us to. In the case of this man, he thought he and his other committee members were being attacked by a giant lizard, when that wasn't really the case. It was the professor and his machine. So it was, Bert. We need to get Mr. Gaffney back to your control centre. No luck, I'm afraid. He's still refusing to talk. Is Bowman still looking after him? Yes, she's on it. Well, uh, seems we could have a little tune while we wait. <laughs> Doctor, what are we going to do about the professor's machine? Oh, nothing for the time being. Excuse me? Sometimes doing nothing is the best thing, Mr. Strutler. This machine, or whatever it could be, feeds off the fear of the minds of humans. But if there are no humans around, it can't feed on anything. The best chance is for it to leave it alone. It'll attack us the first chance it gets. So in a sense, we're starving it. Yes, until it becomes so hungry, its systems will implode into eagers and hungers for the eager person it wants. And who's that, may I ask? Me. Then... I should be able to study it with my own computers. How? My companions are getting the right equipment for my ship now. We got it, Doctor. Oh, splendid. <laughs> oh, yes, this will come in very handy. Very handy indeed. What does that thing do, exactly? Oh, it's like a computer magnet. If it was to fire energy radiation rays at us, it would just fire them right back. How will this be effective against the Professor's machine? Well, I don't think Professor Burt understands the potentials that the machine has. Not yet. I think it has bigger plans in mind. That's why it's taken over him. Taken over? Well, he's certainly not acting the way he was when we first met him. 
Now, I think that the machine needs Bert somehow. How so? Well, in Bert's eyes, he thinks he's carrying out what he thinks to be a very good experiment. But in the machine's case of mind, Bert's just another piece of equipment, something that it needs on legs, that can help boost its circuits worldwide. What do you mean, Doctor? Well, if you remember, Gillian, the professor says he was going to link his computer up with every computer around the world as essential intelligence. And it spells disaster if that happens, Gillian. Yes, that's right. So you're just going to use your magic boomerang to zoom its evil rays back at itself, Doctor? Not exactly, John. This is science, not a comic strip. Mr. Gafty? Mr. Gafty? Mr. Gafty, can you hear me? Who are you? Where am I? You're in the medical facility of Base 3, Mr. Gafty. My name is Bowman. You have suffered a traumatic attack and must rest. When you've fully recovered, my employer will want to ask you a few questions as to what you experienced. No! I can't! It's too horrifying! But Mr. Gaffey, if we don't understand what you saw, how can we help you? Giant lizard! It's coming back! It's coming back to take me! Don't be ridiculous! You're safe here! No! No one is safe! No one is safe! Get your hands up, Professor. Don't be stupid, Pullman. Put the gun down. No. You're up to something. Something bad. Something to do with that computer of yours. Tell me where it is. Why do you want to know? I want to destroy it. I'm sorry, Pullman, but I can't let you do that. You'll be endangering the lives of millions. At least to say you'll be ruining my life's work. Where are you off to in such a hurry? I need to see Scott. Why? Something you're concerned, Pullman. Get out of my way. I will shoot you. I don't want to, but I will. Fine. You left me no choice. Mr. Gafty, I brought you some food. Mr. Gafty. Mr. Gafty. Strutler! What is it, Bowman? Gafty's gone. He took off. Why? Didn't you stop him? I went to get him some food, and when I came back, he was gone. Ah, you idiot! You should have been watching him at all times. You think you'll get far? Can't have left the base by now. We've still got time. We can shut the power off to the team up cubicles. Halt! Why are you running? I'm sorry, I'm looking for a way out. You're the media chairman, aren't you? Yes. Can I see your identification card, please, Mr. Gafty? Thank you. You haven't been here before? No, I'm afraid I haven't. I thought not. Next time, don't run. It's dangerous to run here. I'll remember. Um, I wonder if you could help me with something. I'll do my best. Where's the nearest team at cubicle from here? Oh, you just need to go down the corridor and turn to your left. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Kennedy, have you seen Gafty? Yes, he just went the cor down the corridor. What? What are you trying to get to a team at cubicle? <laughs> ah!